Strong words from China after UK lawmakers barred the new Chinese ambassador to Britain from speaking at an event in Parliament. Beijing describes the move as despicable and cowardly, saying it obstructs normal exchanges and cooperation between the two countries. Zheng Jiguang uh, was to have addressed a group of lawmakers to promote UK-China relations, but senior British MPs stepped in. The move comes after China imposed sanctions against British MPs who'd been critical of its treatment of Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang. The MPs say it would be inappropriate and reprehensible to allow him to meet on parliamentary grounds while Chinese sanctions are still in place on some of its members. Now for more, Lo Min Min joins us live from Shanghai. Min Min, the Chinese envoy has been planning on unveiling ways to promote UK-China relations after months of tensions. Well, he was supposed to speak at a summer reception with a group of lawmakers in favour of engagement with Beijing. But he didn't get to deliver a speech and we don't know if he'll get to speak anytime soon because he's banned from future events at the parliamentary uh, estate. And Chinese state-linked tabloid has called the move despicable and um, reckless and cowardly. The Chinese uh, embassy has also strongly condemned the move, saying that sanctions of a few anti-China political politicians in the UK is completely justified and reasonable. Now, what that means is that they will not be removing those sanctions anytime soon, which means the UK and China could head into a deadlock on this issue unless the UK revoke their decision. Now, remember, the two countries have clashed over a range of issues since the outbreak of the pandemic, from the UK's so-called interference in Hong Kong to the banning of Huawei and Chinese state media CGTN to Xinjiang-related sanctions and the declaration of a Uyghur genocide. But still, some Chinese observers here still still see some hope of the two countries regaining a balance, uh, a more balanced relations relationship. Um, they recognize some positive developments in recent times, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson, for instance, saying that he's against any sort of sporting boycott when uh, the British uh, opposition pa Labour Party called for the boycott of the Beijing Win Winter Olympics. Um, Johnson also uh, pointed Pointed out that he is uh, he he did not want a China spirit to um, pitchfork away every investment from China into the country. And there is an understanding here in China that with the British withdrawal from the EU, there is a need for them to play a delicate uh, balancing act here. They have to draw closer to their Western allies, while at the same time maintaining close cooperation with China to mitigate some of that trade impact of uh, withdrawal from the EU. So whether this latest saga would lead to, you know, a, a, a point of no return between UK and, and China, that's still a question that remains to be seen. But based on today's press conference by the foreign ministry, the spokesperson Chao Lijian did recognize that the British parliament was instigated by only a few anti-China parliamentarians. And it called the UK to rise above a minor few and to put the two countries' interests at the fore and signal that there is still strong grounds for the two countries to come together and to meet global challenges. Steve. Okay, thanks for that. Lo Min Min, speaking to us from Shanghai.